not just be thinking about prevention, but we must also think of seeking the face of God. This is a time for all of us to pray. As we see in the first reading, we worship a God who is always ready to receive us back to himself and grant us forgiveness. We may have not done it right. We may have not gone the right way. We have made so many mistakes in the past. But these trying times too is an opportunity to reflect about our lives as believers, as followers of Christ. We see God presenting himself in the gospel reading this morning. How merciful and how ready he is to receive us back to himself. No one knows it all. There are moments in our lives when we have taken decisions that were not right before God and before one another. I think this is an opportunity for us to say we are sorry. And it is always said to say I'm sorry takes a lot of strength and energy. And that energy comes through humility. If we are humble, we'll find it easy to say I'm sorry. It is also a time to be reconciled to one another and to God. God will always receive us back to himself and grant us forgiveness. We pray for those who are walking out there trying to see how much we can put in our effort as humans to save one another. We continue to pray for you, for your families, for those who are worried and anxious. The Lord Jesus said, do not be afraid. God is in charge. He is here and he will act at the right time in the right way. Let us trust in him. We pray in a special way for those who are sick. We ask you, dear Lord, to come to their aid in this trying time and grant them healing. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace to hear us. We pray for doctors and nurses and all medical experts who are working around the clock to come to the aid of humanity. Inspire, guide, strengthen, and be with them, O oh Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace to hear us. We pray for the dead, those who have died. Lord, you are merciful. Show them mercy and grant them a place in your kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace to hear us. We continue to ask for your blessings, O Lord, upon those who are worried. Calm their fears. Console them with your ever-abiding presence and fill them with grace. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace to hear us. In the silence of our hearts, let us bring our own prayers to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Heavenly Father, we ask you to listen to us, unworthy as we are, and grant our prayers, not because we are faithful, but because we are merciful, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Close out in love with you, Jesus. 
truly revere, O oh merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Son the and the Holy Amen. Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a nice day. Thank you, Father. Thank <laughs> you.